Hello guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be at improving some of our water infrastructure. So we're going to be putting down some water pipes under the ground and putting water troughs in the fields then for drinking water for the cows. The tractor kit is out here for putting down the pipe. You'll see all this in action now when we get out to the fields. we're doing here first is a dummy run so we're going to run the mow plow to across the field to the point where we want to lay the pipe uh, before we put the pipe in just to make sure there isn't any big stones or boulders right under the ground that's going to bust the pipe when we go to put it in it's usually it's usually okay Just after I've laid the pipe, I drive back over where the ground will rise from the mow plow just to roll it back in. Yeah. So the last pipe we put out going out into the middle of the field to put a water trough out in the middle and uh, the water is coming from that direction and there's also pipe to go into the next field so we need to connect the two here to continue the line. this mold plow, mold plow a few years ago with the uh, with the shoe on it for burying the pipe and uh, we also have a different attachment on it if you want to do some pan busting and um, so it has been it was a simple old tool and to get we've done a lot of the water with it the max we can go to is inch and a quarter so that's the size pipe we are doing at the moment um, so hopefully that will do well and hopefully that's big enough uh, it seems to be doing well at the moment and um, one thing we're trying to do is uh, complete the loop so that um, the water's loop it's not all one direction it can go in both directions uh, to create better water pressure so we're going to put down all the pipes first with the mow plow and then I'll put the buck rake on the back of the tractor for lifting the water troughs and we can put them out then uh, the water troughs are quite big they're about 500 gallons um, or just underneath that so they're quite heavy, uh, if you're lifting with the pallet forks, it's not a lot of support for them. So we like to use a buck rake uh, just to make sure they don't crack. So this is the mow plow. 
As you see, it's got a disc here for cutting the uh, the ground, so you're not damaging the surface too much. And then the, the mow plow carves the path, and then you have the shoe, which the pipe goes through. So you can see the depth of it. It's it's probably going down maybe a, a foot and a half. It's not that deep, maybe two foot. But it's deep enough for us. We don't be doing any plowing around here or anything, so it's well below the topsoil. of the leg here by moving the take out this pin slotting it in here in these different areas so when I'm putting in the water pipe I put it all the way down to the bottom and then when we're going moving around I can lift it all the way to the top and put on the buck rake and we'll sort out those water chops first before we go put them down any more pipe. So we got the last pipe put down, now it's time to move the water chops. So I have our old buck rake here that we used to use to push up silage well before my time. So we use this to move around the water chops because they're quite big, they're quite heavy and um, we find the pallet forks, just the two pallet, the two forks on the pallets, it's just not a lot of support for them. So we like to use this to lift them around, it's just a bit safer in case they crack.
drops down, one more to go. The buck rake, the old buck rake, they use to push up silage. It's been working well for moving the water troughs. This is the last one put in for today. And uh, that'll be all then. So we just have to, just need a bit of tape to tighten up that one because uh, it's a bit loose. And then we'll hook that up and it'll be ready to roll. That's all for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.